If you have been looking for a cheap 3D printer that is easy to build and works without too much modifications but still gives you absolutely amazing results like this turning vase that was printed in just 45 minutes, this might be the printer for you. This is the Tevo Tarantula do-it-yourself 3D printer. The printer arrived only one week later and the packing was impeccable. Thick foam surrounded each component and not a scratch was found on a single part which is really cool. Some of the main parts are the E3D Bowden extruder, stepper motors, MKS base motherboard, LCD display with a rotary knob instead of push buttons, S312 power supply with an integrated fan, a 200x200 200 200 heated bed, black aluminium profiles, acrylic parts and organized bags of nuts and bolts for each step mentioned in the provided manual. And they even include two rolls of filament, one PLA and one ABS. I began by removing the paper from all the acrylic parts. The manual was very easy to follow. The components needed for each step was clearly stated. All I had to do was grab the parts and start building. Most 3D printers on the market right now, within the same price range, uses linear bearings, but the Tarantula uses wheels that significantly decreases the noise level of your printer. Just like all the 3D printers under $500, the power supply included in the kit is open, meaning you will have to wire mains voltages. Be careful when doing this. The wiring should look like this. Once the wiring to the motherboard was done, I performed the most important calibration procedure in order to achieve the perfect results, leveling the heated bed. And basically the nozzle and bed will have a very slim distance between them and should be the same wherever the extruder is. I grabbed my filament of choice, heated up the extruder and pushed it in the Bowden extruder. Using Simplify 3D, I prepared the Moai statue as my first printing object with these settings. I inserted the included SD card and started the printing process. Needless to say, it turned out quite bad, with poor layer adhesion and the overhangs not properly in place, mainly due to lack of cooling as the tarantula didn't arrive with fans for this purpose. I got two of these super cheap turbo fans and printed this bracket to hold them in place, all of which you can find links to in the description below. After installing the cooling fans, I started the same Moai statue print once again. The result was significantly better, but not perfect. To achieve the perfect print, we have to make a couple of other changes. The first upgrade you have to do is printing a spool holder. I quickly made one using Fusion 360, 